Hello and welcome to IndiaInfoline.com. Let's begin with how the startups are faring today. The 22-month-old firm Square Yards has achieved profitability at the operating level by adopting a differentiated strategy of selling primary real estate rather than offering a listing platform for primary and secondary market property transactions. China's cab aggregator will chip in with $30 million in a huge funding round being raised by Ola, which will also likely have the U.S. hedge fund Meru Capital and a Scottish investment firm as new investors. Moving on to the IT and telecom sector, Tata Consultancy Services has announced that it has released Intelligent Urban Exchange, which is a powerful analytics-based software solution for intelligent city operations to help address growing expectations of digitally connected urban citizens. Telecom Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad has reportedly said that the present draft encryption policy will be withdrawn and the draft will consider public views. Wrapping up with what's buzzing within the banking sector today, ITBI Bank rallied more than 16% on the back of the Union Finance Minister Arun Jaitley's comments in a television interview that the government was considering privatization of the state-owned lender on the lines of Axis Bank. Federal Bank today said that it will become part of the skill development mission initiated by the centre to train millions of youth and make India a hub of skilled workforce. While this was a brief update on today's top news, for detailed information, download the IIFL mobile app or log on to www.indiainfoline.com. Thank you.